a moth lays bunches of up to 200 eggs on the leaves. Egg masses can be as big as your thumbnail and are covered with fluffy whitish hairs. Three days after the eggs are laid, little armyworms hatch from the eggs. As they scratch the leaves with their mouths, they make little windows. You may see some young armyworms. Within five days after hatching, the young armyworms move inside the leaf wool. As they grow larger, they chew ragged holes in the new leaves. Its feces get on top, covering it, so chemical pesticides cannot easily reach it. When insects eat the leaves of crops, many farmers fear that they will lose the crop and turn to spraying chemical insecticides. But as the plants grow, they recover from much of the insect damage to leaves. Some insects cause panic, not just for farmers, but also for governments. This is the case with the fall armyworm, which to Africa in 2016. You can tell the difference between it and other caterpillars. It has an upside down Y on its head. You can also check the rear side. It has four dots that form a square. After having spent two or three weeks feeding on the maize plant, the worm exits and falls on the soil. It burrows There, the armyworm covers itself with a dark brown cocoon. When the plant starts to dry, you may find a cocoon in the damaged ear. Some two weeks later, the adult moth leaves the cocoon, flies away, mates, and soon starts laying eggs. Some governments started giving away pesticides to farmers. Others organized spraying campaigns to control the fall and the worm. But pesticides are expensive and affect people's health. And because fall armyworms hide deep inside the maize wall, pesticides cannot easily kill them. As a government, we are going to subsidize when it comes to the pests. When farmers got to know about this caterpillar, they started spraying chemicals. But those who sprayed did not harvest much, and the caterpillars did not disappear. Making it hollow from the inside, but fall armyworms eat windows in the leaves and finally eat very big holes in the leaves. When the maize plant is attacked by fall armyworm, on the surface of the leaf, there are faces of the fall armyworm which appear on the surface of the leaf. Also, the, this fall armyworm it makes some holes on the leaves, on the surface of the leaf. Now, let's take a closer look at how fall armyworms live. Fall armyworms come from eggs which are laid by a moth. A fall armyworm moth can fly long distances. A moth lays bunches of up to 200 eggs on the leaves. Egg masses can be as big as your thumbnail and are covered with fluffy whitish hairs. Three days after the eggs are laid, little armyworms hatch from the eggs. As they scratch the leaves with their mouths, they make little windows. You may see some young armyworms hanging from silken threads. They actually spin these threads so the wind will take them to neighboring maize plants. Within five days after hatching, the young armyworms move inside the leaf wool. As they grow larger, they chew ragged holes in the new leaves. But when you open a wool, you may find only one armyworm 
as they eat each other to reduce competition for food. Hard. There are a few of these caterpillars because the raindrops kill them. Heavy rain will also drown armyworms hiding in the wall. Armyworm is big, you can tell the difference between it and other caterpillars. It has an upside down Y on its head. You can also check the rear side. It has four dots that form a square. After having spent two or three weeks feeding on the maize plant, the worm exits and falls on the soil. It burrows less than a finger deep in the soil. There, the armyworm covers itself with a dark brown cocoon. Some two weeks later, the adult moth leaves the cocoon, flies away, mates, and soon starts laying eggs. As the maize grows older, most plants easily recover from the leaf damage and will still grow a nice big ear of maize. Fall armyworms also feed on soft maize kennels. You may see a small hole at the tip of the maize husk where it has entered. When the plant starts to dry, you may find a cocoon in the damaged ear. The caterpillars cause less damage when the maize plant starts to dry, as the worm prefers soft leaves and kennels to feed on. Now that we know that fall armyworms are most dangerous when the maize is young, we understand why it is crucial to regularly check our fields and take action. No corner, see the window of the leaves by this armyworm and also see feces on the top of the leaves. When you find the feces, you know that the worm is hiding inside. You remove the armyworm and crush it with the hand. Better even is to destroy the egg masses before the armyworms hatch and cause damage. Schools in Embo County in Kenya have started training children to recognize and kill the pests as part of their biology class. The children have sharp eyes and can easily destroy egg masses by folding the leaves against the eggs and pressing it firmly back and forth by hand. Visit your field every three days to check for any signs of damage and feces in the walls. Do this for the first six weeks after planting, as that is when most damage is done. This time for scouting is in the morning from 6 o'clock up to 10 o'clock when it is not too sunny, and in the evening from 3 o'clock up to 6 o'clock, because around noon it's very hot, and when it is too hot, the caterpillars hide. As the tiny armyworms may have already moved to the wall and be difficult to collect, Caroline uses a simple method to kill them. We take the soil which is on the farm, we crush it using our hands to make it fine. Now when we apply the soil to the tunnel, it will kill the, the small larvae. Actually, it will make them suffocate, then eventually they will die prevent them to become big lava, which will destroy the plant severely. Besides fine soil, you can also add half a spoonful of ash or sand to the wool to kill the armyworms. The field scouts offer the communities a great service. This has brought about a good relationship between me and the farmers that I visit 
as they get more knowledge on how to get rid of the army wounds. For me, in Africa, farmers should pay scouts because they are experienced. They are helping them remove the fall army womb. prefer maize but can live on many different plants. During her lifetime, a single moth can lay hundreds of eggs. Five days after eggs have hatched, the young armyworms move into the woods where they feed on the new leaves. Spraying pesticides is expensive and usually cannot control these pests. Visit your field twice a week for the first six weeks and kill any egg masses and young armyworms by hand. You can also drop a bit of soil or ash into the walls of infected plants. Now, when you are able to hand pick the caterpillars in your nearby farm, I will urge you to hand pick and not to tire. The method can be used anytime, whether you have money or not. It is important to do scouting because without it, you will not have a harvest at the end of the day.